you can solve the problem or step people closer to their potential by doing several things. You've seen this graphic before. Okay, so solve a problem or step people to their potential in your course. You can help them with an elusive result or a goal that they have. So let's give you an example of that. The Couch Potato to 5K program uh, that you can actually go buy for free somewhere, or I guess you wouldn't buy it, you watch it for free. It's an elusive result or a goal. If you have a weight loss program, it's an elusive result or it's a goal. You're helping people step towards that. You can do it with coaching. Now think about that right there, weight loss. Uh, this year, there will be a new weight loss program that comes out and someone will make $500,000, a million dollars off of it. I guarantee it, there will even be a best-selling book about weight loss, even though the information about how to lose weight is not a secret. Everybody in the room knows how to do it. What's different? Somebody comes in, they have the information, they give their unique insight, their vantage point, and then they help people apply that in a new way. Okay, so that is exactly how all of this works, and it doesn't mean that if somebody else has taught it before, you can't teach it, okay? So you're teaching from your unique vantage point and how to apply your unique vantage point of that goal. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can give people perspective to live differently. Uh, well, what's an example of a course right there? Well, yesterday I told you about one of the guys sitting here in the room, uh, my friend Randy, he teaches people how to parent at each stage of life. And so what is that? Well, I mean, it kind of is a, <laughs> an elusive result. Our goal is how do, we, how do we raise kids that actually like us and kids that we like <laughs> when they're older, um, but also it gives you perspective at each stage of life. How do we live in such a way that we're integrating parenting strategically at each stage of their life, uh, helping them understand what they need to know, think, feel, and do, and the skills they need to have based on the age, the milestones that they should hit. Uh, of course, also, it could be a physical, emotional, or spiritual transformation. So some of the things I teach about PTSD and emotional health, that's all uh, in this. Some of you who are pastors or teachers, uh, you're leaders that want people to walk away from guilt and shame and walk into grace and freedom and empowerment. That's exactly uh, what you're doing right here. And it, it's not that you can't have some overlap with these. These are just to help you start ex you know, exploring in your own mind. What's the problem? What's the potential? What am I leading people from and what am I stepping people into uh, with this message? You can give people new habits, uh, a new way of life. Uh, this is what several of you do. And then also you could increase their knowledge. You could accelerate their learning curve. That's really what we're doing in this information with the Amplify Framework is we're not teaching you anything new that people don't know. Uh, we are increasing the knowledge base because we're taking what we've learned uh, over about a decade and then just kind of compressing all of that into a lot of pages of information and into a lot of minutes of video, uh, really in an effort to increase your knowledge, to accelerate the learning curve so that you can avoid some of the bumps and bruises and scrapes and setbacks and all of that and do it faster uh, with the same degree of, of success and speed. Um, however, however you do it, however you Step people from the problem towards their potential. This is super important. Your course must fit in with a framework because you are delivering more than just information. So you must put everything together. This is really important. It must fit together in a framework. Now let's describe what that is. Every framework has three distinct features. Every framework that you're gonna coach people, that you're gonna lead people through as you step away from a problem, and towards their potential is going to have at least three distinct features. Here it is. Number one, there's a clear destination. So your path, your framework, it is going to take them from where they are, that's kind of the problem, to where they're designed to be. That's the solution, that's the potential you're stepping them towards. So every course really needs to solve that problem and lead them to a clearly defined outcome. If you take this course, and do the things outlined in this course, you will be able to multiply and monetize your message. If you take this course and follow the steps outlined in this course, you will be able to run a 5K or a marathon within six months or within a year. If you take this course and you follow the steps outlined in this course, you will be able to Insert the blank. You are leading people to a destination. Whatever that elusive goal, result, accelerate the learning curve, whatever it is, you are taking them from where they are to where they designed to be, and this is clearly identified on the front end of the course. You go, well, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm, If you don't know what it is yet, you're just spouting out information. 
Doesn't mean it's bad. It just means you need to kind of hone it in and decide, okay, with this information, in light of what I know, how am I going to organize it in such a way that I'm leading people to a clear outcome? And so it doesn't mean that like you've done it wrong. It just means, okay, I, I still need to develop it and hone it down a little bit, maybe even take some of the information out because you might have two courses. So you might need to take something out and lead people to a clear destination. Every course framework has a clear destination. Uh, every course also has objective milestones. Those are clear markers, checkpoints that verify progress that the person is making along the way. So what a milestone is, is you just think, well, if I'm, if I'm here and I want to get over here, then you know, getting from here to there, like that's, that's kind of a long haul. So what I need to do is I need to break that down and say, well, the first thing that you need to do, think about the media, the steps that we have there. The first thing that you got to do is really you need to get your notes and your outline together. Okay, and then the next thing after you get the notes and outline together, hey, talk your way through it and get to the book, even if you don't publish it. You know, well, that may be long, so that may be a big jump. So let's just kind of step back a little bit. Let's just outline it like I got a workbook. I got, you know, even if it's not no blanks in it, like I just got to kind of outline. Okay, now I've got the book. After I get the book, okay, that's a check mark. Okay, now I can put it together as a course. That's a check mark. Sit, you're following step by step. If you're doing a running program, okay, initially you get off the couch and you're winded by the time you go to get the running shoes and even get to the door. But there's a check mark at some point where people, hey, I made it around the block and I moved for 30 minutes without stopping. That's a check mark. At some point, you move from moving from 30 minutes and running some of it and walking some up to where, hey, I ran for the entire 30 minutes. Okay, that's another check mark. At some point, there's a check mark where, hey, I made it a certain distance. There are check marks, milestones along the way. They're different for all of us based on the program that you're putting together that all relates to the problem, where people are, and the potential that you're going to step them towards. Break it down all the way. By the way, this is important because we're going to talk about this when we get to the module on coaching. Also, we're going to review this, and it's also going to be true when we find our way into the module on memberships and subscriptions. The third thing that every framework has is you have a subjective experience along the milestones and along the clear destination. So people come into this thing clearly at different points. Now the danger is so often we make our course completely subjective. It can't be. You're not selling subjectivity. You are selling a clear potential. You are selling a clear solution. However, you do have to acknowledge that people are at different places on the path. And so at some point you've got to be able to affirm, hey, this is a journey and you're gonna encounter different things. When you encounter those different things, those milestones, it may take you a little bit longer to get there. As you encounter different things, you got different questions. Ultimately, that's where you start leading them from courses into coaching and you start interacting with them more, okay? So every framework, clear destination, objective milestones, subjective experience based on clearly objective things in the course. Um, now, here's another way to look at it. If we're on this side, uh, this is the problem. <laughs> we want to get from here. We're stuck here. We want to get to this potential. We want to get to this finish line. We want to get to this solution. So again, our course, this becomes our framework. Our framework is going to solve the problem of we've got this gap from where we are to where we're designed to be, somehow we need to gain some ground. So the course is going to come in. It's going to give information about how to gain the ground. It's going to give your unique insight. It's going to give them application. Those are the three facets. So if they start doing what you said, they're going to move forward. Okay, there are objective milestones, checkpoints along the way as they learn certain things, as they're able to apply certain lessons. Eventually, if they do that, they're going to make it all the way over here. That's what the course achieves. That's what you achieve as the expert. Now, let me show you something here about this graphic. This is an important point, is your course can teach the entire framework or you can teach part of your framework. Okay, the course that you have can teach everything that you know in that entire ecosystem, or your course can drill down and just teach part of it. Or you, or you could say it another way, and I'm gonna illustrate in a graphic in just a second. Your course could be like kind of a signature course that teaches everything, like, like the Amplify course, you know, all of it teaches like all of it. But then it also breaks down, and instead of just teaching the entire framework from here all the way over here, some people come in and they say, well, you know, I, I don't really need uh, to know the things that are the 11 mind shifts. Like I've already got a good perspective on that. I picked that up somewhere else. And so really all I need to know, I don't need that first checkpoint. Like I've already, I've already got that. 
And so they come in and say, well, what I really need is I need the media. Like I need to learn how to repurpose my content. Or some people even have all that. They've already got the course. They've already got the books. They've already got the coaching. What they come in is at the very end and they say, well, yeah, I don't really need any of this. What I really need to know is the disciplines and the habits of how you actually do the grind of the work, the daily flow of, of getting this stuff done. So you can teach, again, all of it, or you can teach part of it. Uh, in, in my world, it, it kind of looks like this. So I have four different facets to kind of my personal framework that I teach on my personal website, not on the Amplify website. Uh, I teach about grace. I teach about freedom. I teach about purpose, and I teach about empowerment. So I have courses on grace, and I have a book on grace. I have a book on uh, freedom and helping people overcome. They, they, of course, they get grace, and they're wanting to move to where they're designed to be. But one of the problems they get into is they've got emotional hurts and emotional wounds, and they're rereading the present in light of the past. And so there's a whole course, there's a whole book on that. After they get through that hurdle of uh, the grace and freedom, then they can start defining their purpose and walking in their purpose. A lot of people are held back from their purpose. That's milestone number three, held back from their purpose because they're stuck rereading the present in light of the past. You go, well, not everybody. Like you may look at that and go, well, not, not me. Like I've already been through that. Okay, well, good. You're not there. So you just need this part of the framework. You don't need the entire framework. Or you may say, hey, I've already got all that, but man, I'm really dealing with some grace issues and I'm, I've got like some shame that I just need to shake off. Okay, that's, that's where you are here. Or other people just want to learn how to apply this stuff to the daily grind of everyday life. So they just move to this empowerment part where we have all of the advanced materials. So again, your course that you do can teach the entire framework that you have from beginning to the end, or it could just be, hey, here's the result that we want to get right here. We, want, we just want to, we just want to move from here to here, you know, or somebody's got all this other stuff. They've got most of the bridge built. So they just need from here to here. And so you come in and you offer just the niche of what they need in that moment. Remember, yeah. You've got a clear destination for people. Uh, the path and the framework is what takes them there. Objective milestones along the way, subjective experience. So everybody's coming in at a different place, but really you're building all of this content on that framework. Let me show you what I mean. Here's, here's several examples of a framework. So Dave Ramsey, uh, I googled this, financial peace. He has what he calls seven baby steps to financial peace. Okay, so that's the framework. So if you're Dave Ramsey and you're leading a membership program, these are the different steps you would kind of fall in and say, okay, so uh, this, this month what we're going to talk about is I'm going to deliver something that shows people about how, what, to, what to do about retirement. Uh, or I'm going to show people like, hey, here's, here's some quick tips to pay off your house. Or, hey, let's, let's get this. Now, now notice with Dave Ramsey's, uh, people come in at different places. Uh, this is objective, okay? This is a clear path that he lays out for financial freedom. But some people come into this and they, well, they've already got the uh, $1,000 emergency fund. Now that's an objective measure, right? It's a checkpoint. There's seven biomarkers along the way from where you are to where you're designed to be. But some people come in and they objectively have it or they don't. You've either paid off all of your debt except for your house or you haven't. There's still a subjective experience but everybody knows clearly where they are on this. Let me give you another example. I've got a friend that we're helping do a recovery center. So here are the different milestones, the checkpoints along the way. Uh, one of these, these all start with P is the program. So this is what the clients do. This is where they're at in the program, what they're taught, what they're learning, the life skills. Uh, another part of that framework is the people. So that's the job descriptions, that's the staff expectations. He can't run this on his own, so he has to have clear objective data of what the people do that are working for him. Processes, so this policies, procedures for him when he's doing in rehab, and you have custody of people who are ordered there by the courts and even by the prison system and jails and judges, you've got to have strong processes and reporting in place. And then ultimately, the purse, you've got to fund this thing or you're going to tank it. And so in that framework, he actually has uh, seven steps that can help you fund it. Seven possible income streams that are going to help people run this recovery center. Okay, so that's all objective. Now, let, let me show you this um, because I think it's important. We're working on the framework. Your framework could be uh, linear. So Dave Ramsey, he leads people through a linear path. He says, do it in this order. So save the money. Pay off all the debt except the house. Then set aside three to six months living expenses. Then start setting aside income to retirement. Then you get the idea. He leads them directly through this objective linear path right across the bridge. 
Uh, but when you look at the recovery center, you go, well, that's not really a linear path. That's more of kind of like a comprehensive, it's more kind of an inclusive type of thing. So your framework doesn't have to be just linear, but it does need to be objective. When you look at the Amplify framework, what we suggest, hey, um, you gotta get the message first and go in this order, but you know what? You, you really don't have to go in this order. Like you could do this in, in any order. You know, you've either got the mindset right or you don't. Uh, you either are kind of implementing the habits that we talked about or, or you haven't, so they're, they're all objective, but this is more of a comprehensive, inclusive type pathway. Again, the main thing that you've got to see with the framework and what you're going to provide in the context is the must-have. So there's got to be a clear destination. It's where you're leading people. You definitely have to have a path, a bridge that you, people move through in order to get to where they're going. And then also, they've got to have these objective mile markers along the way. You know, the, the uh, $1,000 in emergency savings, the debt snowball, the, to change gears, the processes for how you run the recovery center, or the methods of how you're going to implement doing the grind of amplifying your message. Again, it can work in different ways, but all of those must-haves are always going to be there. So again, we'll write this down. Your framework can take people on a linear path, or it can take people on an inclusive path. Uh, which one's better? Uh, it depends on what you're doing. So which one matters the most? Uh, it depends. If you're doing a couch potato to marathon, well, that, that's probably going to be more of a, of a linear type of thing. But when you start thinking about other skill sets and other things that people do, uh, it might be more of an inclusive. 